two up. New Zealand series number three. Day one, we're on the bike. We've come not far up the road. We found a spot, Bendigo. It's a bit of a um, overnight, three night camp. So not sure where the people are. There's a couple of tents, hope they're not sleeping. Sorry about the noise. Did that just blow away? We're just getting the cameras set up. We hadn't done that. We had to stop, get fuel, grab a drink. Um, it's, what are we, 1.30? Yep. And we're headed for our first stop for the night. Got pretty cruisy road day, but it's a road that we haven't done on the bike, or I haven't done on the bike. So, someone's just got to get the sound, and the cameras, and the setup's all good, make sure everything's working, and have a drink, bite to eat, and we'll hit the road. Looking forward to it. What's that? GoPro. GoPro. Teething issues. <laughs> Rookies. Never done this before. Oh, look at the sun on the lake there. That's nice, isn't it? Lovely. The headwaters of Lake Dunstan. Yep. Just heading into the Lindus Pass. Just a bit of a uh, bit of a road ride today for the first day of uh, two up New Zealand series number three. How's it feel being back on the bike? I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. No, it's um, it's nice to be back on the bike. It's been too hot. In Australia, we really haven't done anything since start of December, end of November. So it's yeah, nice. we really haven't been on a bike much at all, have we? No, nah, too hot. This is perfect. Yeah, in fact, it was what 43 degrees at the airport when we left Friday a few days night. ago. Yeah, flew into Queenstown, and it was eight degrees when we got off the plane. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> just a slight difference in climates, but it's nice, it's beautiful today. Yeah. Um, so, back here for a couple of weeks, um, with the main goal being to tick off the Burt Munro Challenge, or the Burt Munro Rally Bike Festival, or whatever, I don't know what they call it these days. Um, so, we've booked our rally tickets, yes. we've, uh, we've got some camping gear with us, and we're going to camp on site. In, in, uh, in, in Invercargill. In Invercargill, yeah. Mm. So hopefully we don't get too bad a weather. <laughs> but yeah, we've got, oh, we've got till Thursday. So we've sat down and sort of mapped out a few little spots in here that we want to take off. A couple of trails, a couple of sites we haven't seen. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too hardcore. We're, uh, neither of us have been up into the Mount Cook Village, so we're going to go and have a have a bit of a look see at that. Uh, we're going to have a look around uh, Twizel, Tinkerbo, uh, and Lake, then Lake Ohau. Yep. Um, and then we're going to come back down through the Black Forest. We've not ever done that before, so that's another one that we want to sort of tick off the list. 
Um, probably go end up going back over Dandy's Pass again, just because it's a nice uh, ride. Yeah, nice ride, and it'll get us to where we need to be. Um, and then we'll sort of weather dependent. We're hoping to get back up uh, the Shingle Creek Trail up to uh, top of Old Man Range, and then down the Piano Flat side. So um, we'll see how that goes. So, um, we're not too keen to do it if it's still wet and slimy. Cause, uh, the downward, the downward hill into Piano Flat's pretty steep, and, and we're pretty well loaded this trip. So yeah, and they did have snow up on the tops there yesterday. So. Yeah, two two days ago, snow on the on the hills, so, which is a bit unusual for the first second of February. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyhow, we're just going to enjoy the road here and. Uh, Mosey on our way through to uh, Amarima for a start and then uh, we'll see where we are from there. way to the summer it's quite a quite a long crawl up this side of the Lindus yeah um, I think we were still about 15 k's or 12 k's from the summit oh it's pretty it's nice isn't it yeah like it's just just paddocks I suppose isn't it yeah but nice and hilly we don't have anything like this no nine k's from the summit Go. Well, we'll leave the cameras on for the next 9Ks and <laughs> see how nice it is. It's still a bit, I guess it's probably going to get a bit more blustery up here. There's been a couple of good grabs. driver. Yeah. And we haven't decided yet on accommodation. No. But we have our own, so worst case. Yeah. to the summit. legs. Yeah, I can feel it around my chin like you said. Yep. Pretty good road though, isn't it? It is a really good road. The locals might say it's not, but... We'll stop at the summit, eh? Yep. For sure. ideal. Well, there you go. I don't think we're very high here. No, not really.
hard to say because they've just pulled up on the side of the freaking road. There's two cars. Can't stop there, mate. Welcome to motorhome tourist country. <laughs> yeah. Make their own rules. And for yeah, foreigners that don't really understand the road rules at all. Yeah. No, probably they never, have, they probably have, never drive in their own country. They have actually pulled up and parked there. Yeah. See this solid white line here? <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure it means no stopping. Mm. Oh well, that was a good little stop. That was nice. Nothing to tell us how high we are at the summit, but I, it's not very high. No. Insert. Oh, uh, we were, uh, what, we we're 985, so maybe just on a thousand meters? Yeah. on the uh, on the cliffs that you can see out there on the left hand side. Probably gonna uh, we're gonna try and do a road around to the other side of them. Right. Yeah. yeah the formation's amazing isn't it? Yeah, I guess is it limestone? Yeah. Okay. It might have been basin that kind of in here come over the past. Amazing looking down the valley, isn't it? Yeah. Looking straight out there towards Twizel. Not that you can see Twizel, but yeah. That's tomorrow's general direction. Yep. Well, we're nearly done with day one, and it's not quite our normal room review um, for a trip on the road. We did say we thought we might be doing some camping, and here we are. Trees behind me. If I do, we are in the tent. So, $110 for a little cabin that had no facilities, or $49 gets us a little powered site at the Amarama Caravan Park. Good chance to test out the camp gear. Got the new mattresses all set up, sleeping bags. Very, very glad that we got the uh, foxtail made blowing up these mattresses so much better. So this is home for the night. Day one, tick. said before uh, limestone cliffs but they say clay yeah. yeah. hard to tell from the other side we were just looking at them from a distance yeah <laughs> coming to that too hot wind and skatey gravel, she wouldn't yeah. be pretty. Oh, I don't have any cash. Oh. Oh well. That's a pain. Do you have to... Oh. I got five dollars Australian. Yeah. That's worth more. It is. <laughs> Honesty box, I'm guessing. Yeah. Hmm. We're just heading up into Quailburn Historic Woolshed. 
and the uh, the gravel road's a little uh, sketch. It's a little sketch. Yeah, there's plenty of gravel on it. I know that. But uh, yeah, the the valley up here is massive. Mm -hmm. No wonder they they well, they sort of call this area Big Sky too, eh? Yeah. Kind of get why. Yeah. Hariri Conservation Park. Oh wow. It's a bit more like it should be gravel road. <laughs> Isn't it? There's at least two firm wheel tracks. Wow, ah, yeah. Also felt a little bit like a riverbed just there. Possibly flows with water at the right time of year. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, this is us. road actually got better. It did. <laughs> oh, so this is actually like a campsite? Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Tin. Nice look back down the valley. Oh, there. that's pretty. Good eye. Very nice. It's a cool old wool shed, made out of sticks and tin, pretty much. Yep. And a pretty spectacular view of the valley. Yeah. I'm not backseat driving, I promise. <laughs> Whoa, that was wild. I'm okay. <laughs> It is super sketch and it's not uniformly. It's just patches of thick gravel. Yeah. And that is a wrap on day one. Got our little tent set up, just getting sorted. Gotta love these late nights. It's uh, after 8.30, we've still got all this daylight, and I better get up the map again. Season 3. So a little bit of a overlap again on places we've been. Where we left Cromwell today and we've come back up through this road. But then from there, all new, we've actually come up through the Lindus Pass and we are here in Omarama tonight we did a little detour out the other side of the river here and we're going to go back and check out the cliffs tomorrow there's a little historic site uh, camped up in Omarama and uh, have started the plans for tomorrow <laughs>